All right, guys, it's Lamont from Bashers United. And today we are going to take a look at the FXT Triple Play, the FX88R. Now this is a ground station unit. Uh, it's 5.8 gigahertz, it's got six bands, 48 channels, uh, made in China, you know, that is what it is. And supposedly it's got three-way diversity. So let's open the box first. A little flap here. Uh, okay, so that's the uh, triple play in the box. Looks pretty good. Let's take it out. Set the box aside. So in the box, you get the unit. Uh, it's got triple antennas on it. Okay. Three-way diversity, supposedly. Uh, what I'm going to probably do is put a patch here, a patch there, and a you know, a yeah, omnidirectional clover leaf style on there. Um, looks good, fit and finish is good. Buttons clicky. That really makes a difference. It's got a, a mount on it, so you can put that on top of a like a camera mount on top of a tripod, which is pretty cool. All right, let's see what else is in the box. Foams and plastic scissors. You get a manual. You get two dipole or yeah i think those are dipole antennas which no one ever is ever going to use you only get two though got, oh no, no wait wait you get three you get three antennas three of these throwing the tash duck joints i don't know this one looks different this is the five gigahertz they all say five gigahertz but this one's got some weird like if you can see that it's got like a metal piece or something i don't know if that comes off but oh it does look a little dipole that's pretty cool i wish they all did that I feel like I could probably cut this off and actually use this on my tiny loop. Are all antennas like that? Am I discovering something new today? It looks like they're all like that. So you can pop that off. There's a little dipole in there. You get three of those. You get some cables. I think those are some, uh, I don't know, RC or what is it, RCA cables or whatever. So you get those. And you get a power plug, looks like. Plugs into a LiPo. I think this this takes 3S or 4S, so I will probably just put a, one of my 4S LiPos in it and power it that way. Looks like they were, <laughs> looks like you were supposed to get a, uh, a uh, pagoda. That's what that looks like. But uh, there's no pagoda in the box, so I'm not too disappointed in that. I, I expected this, you know, the three, the, the cheapo dipole, whatever those things. Okay, so on the side, yeah, that's a power plug. It looks, that's a bit flimsy. This is silica wire, so that's, that part's good, but I'm probably gonna put more shrink wrap on that if I can fit it on there, because that looks mad janky. Okay, so on this side, on this side you have your channels. You can run them individually by plugging in to one of these, or you can run all three in a three-way diversity in that plug there. The top has the, the each, where RX1, RX2, RX3, so it's labeled so you know which one of these you're using. On that side, on off switch, let me turn it around. On this side, on off switch, um, for the most part, pretty cool. We're gonna take this out to the field and give it a try. It's freezing cold outside, that's why I finally got a ground station. Um, it's really cold. I wanted to be able to fly from inside my car, so I got this ground station unit. I'm gonna test it out and let you guys know how, what it's like. And uh, we're gonna go out and do that right. Now. We got a ground station almost ready to rock here. Got your patch antennas facing two different directions. On the directional, we're going to take this off, but we're going to put the uh, the Mad Mushroom on because it's more of a direct competitor to the Voss Ion, not a competitor, but it's going to be about the same people. And hopefully, the quality is going to be the same. So, we don't have to worry about, oh, it was a Voss and that was a freaking crappy Fox Ear antenna, right? Try to get even with our reviews. All right, so we don't know how to Nothing's do this. wrong. Everything's, Everything's fine. Small. We're perfect. We know what we're doing. Ooh, you you brave. All right, guys, here we go. You brave. That video we said we we're going to make, we're making it. It's happening. This is the test of the uh, FXT triple play. Uh, you got your DVR on? Yeah, I'm going. So am I. I'm going to hand you this. The audio. Get that out I'm of my way. Put it on my lap. All right, guys. Remember, said I was gonna fly. I'm gonna fly now. I'm flying. We're gonna do it. it. 
also, this is my first time flying Butterfly. Things seem to be okay. It's quite a windy day. Crappy. I'm not going to do anything too fancy because I don't want to crash just yet. Let's try to go over here a little bit. How's your, how's your signal, Doug? I mean, I've got some glitches, but it's, hold, it's holding. Now I'm getting break up. Yeah, I got a little break up too. I'm almost out. No, it, it's just a little bit of break up for me. Yeah, I was it, I it, was like black and white lines. It's quite flyable, so there's that part right there. Yeah, I'm still I'm still getting some break up even here. That that glitching at the top, that's that's not the uh, No, it's 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 full screen signal. Oil. so quiet in here it's warm though I feel like you might want audio off the quad if you if you're planning on using a ground station yeah from your car I, I like well they um, I use I'm using that uh, well it's it's a clone of a clone it's it's one of the uh, it's a wolf whoop which is a basically an AKK I'm I Looking at the layout of the chips and everything, I'm pretty sure it's just rebranded. Yeah. Because they're identical. Oh, God. It's so weird watching people fly. Up, coming yeah, back, okay, coming back. I don't know what's up. Maybe it's because of the the orientation of the antenna. Yeah, I, it's still flyable so far. This is getting sketchy. Yeah, this, this is not sketchy at all for me. It's black and white now. Yeah, I'm it's pretty, I'm pretty fuzzy. good. Like no extra breakup or anything. Goggle lenses is fogging up. That's why you gotta have the fan. I do have the fan, it's just not turned on. Well, it doesn't do any good turned off now, does it? Thirteen point eight. Quite I'm coming down now. You got four minutes off that battery, it's not bad. There you go. Well, there you go. So well, we'll compare. We'll compare the DVR and we show you guys that while we're talking. Uh, I had no breakup, no like nothing, nothing like terrible, terrible. Um, I definitely couldn't have flown some of that. Yeah. When you went around the building, kind of towards the back, that would absolutely. Oh yeah, let me turn the DVR. Um, definitely, definitely was like. It went black and white. Yeah. And was like super snowy. Yeah. And I mean, I probably could have gone up and then, you know, kind of angled up to catch the quad and get it back. Yeah. But it, it was ultra sketchy. And yeah. then out there, it was it was still pretty sketchy. Mm -hmm. Not as bad. 
I probably could have like flown back. back. Yeah. But when you went around the building, I was like, oh, we're gonna. Have to... <laughs> oh, you can still see. That's good. Yeah. The so, height definitely matters. Matter. Yeah. So it was pretty good. It, I liked it a lot. I mean, the only the only issue I have with ground stations is literally, I mean, all uh, oh, this. Like, I would almost rather be cold for a few minutes Hop and, get back, and get back in the car or just not fly too far from the car. Um, but, you know, that's just a that's just on ground stations in general. But this one, this the, the, the FXT triple play is yep. pretty good. It works pretty good. So let's go back to my desk at home. Bloop! Snap it out. All right, guys. Here are my final thoughts on the FXT triple play. Uh, I took it out and flew it, as you guys saw earlier in the video. It worked great. Um, I said some things in the video that I, I've come to regret saying. Now, again, I've never flown a ground station before. And I went back and looked at the footage. And the footage I flew from inside the car, nice and warm and toasty, was actually good footage. The footage I shot outside the car, being cold, it sucked. So, I'm going to go ahead and say I'm going to use this every time it's cold. Um, the setup does take a little bit longer than just throwing your goggles on and putting the antennas on, but the results are fantastic. So I would say use one and just do it. This one, I think this was 89, 89 bucks. Um, I think I got it from Amazon, but they have it on get FPV and like pretty much anywhere. It's a good, it's a good bit, good bit of kit. Um, the only, the only worry I have is that the power plug at the end, uh, is just open silica wire into these tiny little pins. And I would imagine at some point, if your battery kept on falling off and tugging this wire, that eventually this is gonna come loose. But the beauty of it is you can just make another one. Pull some more wire out of there and just keep on making another other things. So you can you can get these online and be pretty easy to fix. So all in all, I was really impressed by it. Um, I got great distance. Uh, I used two patches and a Omni and the video was fantastic. All right, guys, that's it for this review, and I hope you guys liked it. If you want to see more of this content, let me know down in the comments. And, uh, yeah, man, FXT triple play, pretty good. I'm going to keep it. It's a keeper. I didn't notice any switching, like, when it went from antenna to antenna. I didn't notice any sort of difference in the switching at all. There was no, like, crackling of the screen or anything like that. Uh, it was really good. So I would say yay on this. The only issue I I have is again the durability the durability of this cable, but it should be easy to fix. Um, and this is not made of the highest grade plastic, but I would imagine, you know, dropping it over from the height of a a uh, tripod that's sh short shouldn't damage it too badly. So yeah, all right guys, hope you liked the review. I'm gonna do some more of these. I'm gonna review the. Aurora 5, right? It's like 40 bucks. Is it good? I don't know. I like it. But we'll talk about that soon. Anyways, later guys. Got to end the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the subscribers. And leave comments below. And like and comment and subscribe and do all that fun stuff. Deuces.